Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Cybersecure TV. Uh, this week we will learn about the double extension technique uh, for the file upload. Uh, oftentimes you will see in the application you have a feature such as uh, upload the profile picture which is normal use case I see in most of the applications, right? So, uh, and, and not just that, like uh, some application would also allow you to upload files such as documents, CSV, Excel, uh, depending on the use case. So what we are trying to learn in this series is how do we abuse this file upload functionality uh, for our advantage or for the attacker's advantage and, and able to upload the uh, backdoor or shell to the server so we can have the root access. Uh, in the previous techniques, uh, we learned about like you know content type validation. We learned how to generate the payload using Wavly. So uh, we learned a few techniques and, and uh, today we will learn a new technique of the double extension. So let's uh, hop back to our uh, dam vulnerable application where I've uh, set the security level as currently as high, which is the highest level possible uh, in our current version of whatever the version I have it installed in the dam vulnerable application on the Linux. Uh, so here, uh, if we go to the file upload, so previously what uh, we were doing and, and able to bypass using the medium security is if I upload this shell, and if you note here, the content type is image JPEG, but in order to have, like, you know, able to execute the payload, we have to change the extension to PHP. And we were able to do this, like uh, we were easily able to bypass because the application was only checking the content type. Now, if we do, uh, like, you know, if I forward this request now, it says image was not uploaded because uh, I'm guessing the application now checks along with the content type, also the extension, right? So uh, how do we how do we deal with this? So let's uh, try to upload the same file again. And what the application is looking for is the JPEG extension, right? So now what we can do is uh, we can add a PHP extension in between. So uh, usually web server, like not usually, but sometimes often uh, some old web servers, uh, they only detect or they only uh, like you know the application will only validate this uh, last file extension. However, when you are trying to execute a file, it will it will execute on the extension next to the file name. So there is a there is a mismatch on how the application uh, does the validation and how the web server does the validation. Based and 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 uh, taking advantage of those mismatch, we'll, we are able to upload. We'll be able to upload our shell and execute uh, execute it. Right. So. Here I have done like uh, shell.php.jpg and uh, we'll keep the content type as is so we can easily bypass the filter. So let's forward this. Now it says the shell has been uploaded. So if you quickly want to verify, what you can do is uh, just duplicate the tab and actually turn the intercept off and then go here. Right. Okay. So here, of course, uh, uh, the image cannot be displayed because this is not an actual image. But to bypass it, uh, like sorry, to execute it, let's go back to our uh, shell. And so uh, here uh, we'll go back to our tool called Vivly. So uh, and then we have to paste the path of where the uh, payload is. And that's like you know generally tricky part if the application and that's actually a good control the application every application should have it should rename the file as soon as it's uploaded so uh, the attacker cannot guess it where what the file name is or they cannot guess the exact location of the file uh, and then we have to give the password which uh, we gave to the tool when we generated the payload so once you enter this and as you can see uh, we have the session established and that is how you use the double extension technique uh, in order to bypass some of this uh, file upload fee, uh, like you know feature now of course uh, i would say like you know this is not a, a very uh, normal controller or, or very easy to find vulnerability that i would see like in the normal uh, in the latest web servers and and uh, technologies uh, this could uh, could be easily controlled by just using like the web server will not have this mismatch and will not execute the double extension uh, path but uh, of course it never hurts to like you know try this out as well especially when you are doing some uh, uh, like you know certifications such as OSCP and you have to upload uh, the file or your shell uh, to get the root access so you can use this technique because this technique still exists 
in the older uh, web servers so uh, that's it uh, for this week uh, i know this this is a really short video but i wanted to uh, just uh, uh, show you guys how how does this uh, feature and functionality work uh, if you have any questions comments please please note it down and, and if you have any suggestions for any of uh, any of the future topics uh, let me know i'm trying to cover across various playlists uh, various types of um, uh, topics uh, that i want to cover or as far as what i know uh, so uh, and and yeah, uh, I'll I'll keep continue doing it. I'll I'll come come up with some other interesting topic for the next week. Until then, thank you so much and bye bye.